the book begins, opens before I actually arrived in New York, which was in 1978. Um, but my memories of the city, I lived very briefly with a friend in Soho on West Broadway, which was right next to the Castelli and Sonnabend galleries. Uh, it was at that time, uh, a kind, the kind of heart of, of the art world. And that influenced uh, the book. So it was partly remembering um, what of course now is, is a remote uh, world. Um, and my fascination with painters, paintings, and uh, two families. I've often thought that for me to write a novel, I need to imagine spaces that actually exist. I need a real apartment, a real house, <laughs> real streets. <laughs> and then inside that frame, that kind of architectural frame, landscape frame, the the story emerges. This goes, you know, way back to the ancients and memory palaces and all of that. Um, but one thing for me that is always true and not easy is to be brave enough to make stories that for me are emotionally true. Right. It's, it's and 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 you know one hopes that that form of emotional truth communicates itself to the reader. I've never been one of those writers who talks about being a professional liar. I, I've always balked against that. I don't think that the fiction that I've cared about deeply in my life has ever lied. Hmm? It's Within... always a bit about something true that feels true when I'm reading it. I'm writing a very ambitious book and um, it's been going very slowly, but it there is a book inside the book, which is about the history of eugenics. Um, and this, I have been researching for quite a few years. Um, and I think it actually speaks to the moment to, um, you know, racism, sexism, and how this has become, you know, my argument is that eugenics is not over. It's part of a lot of thinking in parts of the sciences, um, in popular media, et cetera. So, you know, it's, <laughs> I have about 200 pages <laughs> on that material. It's lying here on the floor, but I have 145 good pages of a novel. Now I just have to, to get to the end um, and, you know, make it tight and, exciting and i have to say it's not just eugenics there's a there are love stories um that are really the engine of the book